up. Okay, so here it is my friends, sell the Bible, or as it's called, sell the Hyrule Historia. Let's just wrap up the plastic and then we're gonna take a look. I just want to mention that we're not going to look at every single page in detail. For now we're just gonna have a sneak peek of what you can expect of it. If you want the full detail, you should probably go buy it yourself. Uh, first page is the introduction and some shit about Miyamoto. Moving on, we have a full chapter that is almost the half book itself, just about Skyward Sword and a crap load of artwork and pictures. To be fair, I love Skyward Sword, but do I consider it the best Zelda title? No. So what I'm hoping for is more retro stuff from older Zelda titles in this book. We're gonna get to it, I hope. So what can we say about the book? It's a hard case, which is very nice. There are 276 pages and everything is translated from Japanese to English. Now, I haven't gone through the book before, so I'm just gonna ramble about it and as I scroll through all the pages as this is the first time I have this book in my hands. In the beginning, there are a register for what's in the book. A lot of Skyward Sword, chronological orders, Zelda titles, and other stuff. History of Hyrule. Here we have all the story behind the franchise and Hyrule, and also which game comes in the chronologic order, if you prefer that sort of stuff to dig into. Me myself am not so sure that uh, the order should even exist, and that is just because I don't think it was planned from the beginning, rather than just Nintendo came up with this uh, for the book, to make the fans happy. But whatever, it's nice in a way to have that too. Only problem is that from now on, every Zelda game would have to fit in somehow, which wasn't the case before. Here is some explanation of each character, some artwork and sketches. And now we're back 26 years to Zelda on the NES, given a handful of reading about the games. Here we have Twilight Princess, Four Swords, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks. Guess this book got it all covered, so no complaints there. Yeah, I got the same Zelda limited edition of the 3DS. Here is where the book is full of art concept and drawings of the characters. Maybe so one can try to draw them. Or you could use them as pictures for your next tattoo perhaps. They actually didn't spare any cost at finding all their artwork for each and every game. In here you might find it all.
Shit, here are the trains from the spirit tracks. And the hell I didn't get the gold train. Probably because I really suck at this specific Zelda game. And I also kind of hate it. Hey, might just tell you and reveal which Zelda game is my favorite. Well, until just a couple of months ago it was Wind Waker. And I barely can wait for the HD remake. But that was until I played Minish Cap on the Game Boy. Fuck me, it blew my mind away. I felt exactly as the first time I played A Link to the Past as a child. So to this date, I consider Minish Cap to be the best one. But hey, that's just me. Okay, to finish this off, the Zelda book shows you a never seen before manga cartoon at the very end of the book, and as it is a manga, you have to read it backwards. So that's my review or sneak peek of the Hyrule Historia. If you haven't yet bought it, go do it if you love Zelda. That's highly recommended. Thanks for watching.